Ghost Man Horror Host here. Five life. Real life killer clowns. That may be even scarier than me. She, uh, Warren. It was, a, it was a normal morning for 22 year old Marilyn Warren in May of 1990 when as she was preparing breakfast for her two young children, there was a knock at the door. Larry Lane was confronted by a person dressed as a clown, standing in a doorway, holding two balloons and a bouquet of flowers. A clown then pulled out a gun and calmly shot Marilyn in the face in front of her family before driving off. The identity and the motive of Marilyn's killer went unsolved and unknown for 27 years. When in 2017, investigators found DNA evidence and eyewitness testimony, which led to the arrest of 34-year-old Shirley Warren. Even more startling that Sheena had married Marilyn's widowed husband 12 years after the murder took place, and they too owned a restaurant together. Warren now faces the death penalty in Florida. Well, Pennywise is considered one of the most well-known killer clowns. Unlike me, I'm lesser known. Today, he had most likely all the other evil clowns representations likely owe their origin to Gwynoblain, the main character of the 1928 German Expressionism film, A Man Who Laughs, the film based on a novel by Victor Hugo. Stars renowned German actor Conrad Villett as Gwilin the main attraction of a tra- travelling freak show whose face was his figures as a child, leaving him with a permanent twisted grin. While the film's director intent is to be a romantic adventure, a sheer visual horror of Eddick's character and his demented smile, which led to it being classed as a horror film today. It's caused an uproar when it was first released with audiences terrified of its ghoulish makeup. So funny was the man who laughs that he was inspired for inspiration for another infamous clown, none other than the Batman's nemesis, the Joker himself, the Bunny Man. On the night of October 19th, 1970, Robert Bennett and his wife, Fancy, was dri- driving along a lonely forest road in Fairfax County, Virginia, when they pulled over to get their bearings. As the two sat in their car, a hatchet was suddenly and finally swung through the windscreen, smashing it to bits. Before speeding away, the young couple reported that they saw the attacker briefly, a man dressed up as a children's entertainer, wearing a bunny suit, who was shouting at them to get off his property. Exactly ten minutes later, security guard Paul Phillips was going, was doing his rounds We reported seeing a man dressed on a rabbit sitting on the steps of an unfinished house. Upon seeing him, the strange man leapt up and showed himself to be brandishing an axe. He then began to swang the axe in the air and chop the foundations of the house, screaming that if he caught anyone else trespassing, he'd bust them on the head. Police never found the bunny man, despite several more sightings around the area. The only piece of evidence he left behind was the hatchet he threw through Robert Dunnett's windscreen, but none on this, which was now on display to the public. The Clown Apocalypse Colophobia is a term for anyone with the phobia of clowns, and 2016 was a bad year for anyone who suffered with this veteran. It's a year we saw the worldwide surge of clown sightings and millions of people over the nine different countries reportedly encounters with individuals dressed as clowns. A phenomenon was almost mostly harmless, if not a little discerning. If most of the clowns are simply playing a few pranks or just lurking, but minding their own business, 
Nonetheless, the, the trend became popular on social media and spread across the world. However, there were some serious incidents that took place, such as the current South Carolina, where a young boy reported two men dressed as clowns tried to lure him into the woods. Similarly, in Australia, a man dressed as a clown attacked two twelve-year-old girls, stealing one in their phone of their phones. In another instance, an arrest took place following threats made toward public schools in London and Canada by people disguised as clowns. And the final one, my friends, is the best one. John Wayne Gacy One of the most notorious serial killers in American history, John Wayne Gacy, murdered and tortured 33 teenage boys before he was eventually arrested in 1980. Eighty, and sentenced to death by lethal rejection. When police raided his home, they found twenty-nine bodies buried and hidden on the property. Casey played, posed as a lovable pogo of the crown, a character devised for his work as children's entertainer, appearing at dirty parties and charity events. No one ever knew that behind Casey's fun-loving fun loving facade, there lay the mind of an unhinged Psychopath. Stephen King himself has stated that Gacy's story was the inspiration for the monstrous Pennywise. So, my children, sleep well. <laughs>